Here is another case, and you could recognize this as being fat. You could write, recognize this material as being adrenal cortex. Here is the glomerular arrangement. Here are the linear fascicles. And here's more of a intermeshed or reticulated uh, pattern for the three cortical layers. And we have a fairly good demarcation here between the uh, cortex, which is pink, and this darker, gran more granular area, which is the adrenal medulla, in which you'll see your ganglion cells, your large blood vessels, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's not uh, terribly exciting or terribly abnormal. What I would like to bring your attention to are the blood vessels surrounding the adrenal outside of the capsule in the periadrenal fat. Here's an artery in question. Here's another artery in question. And here are a couple of more arteries in question. They don't look terribly uh, normal, do they? Let's go to any one of them and look a little bit closer. Well, the first thing that you could see is that there is a tremendous amount of inflammatory cell material surrounding uh, these arteries. In addition, you could see that even the middle layer or the muscularis of the artery uh, is involved with inflammatory cells as well. You can see that even the uh, subintimal area is involved with uh, inflammatory cells. And in addition, you can see that the wall of the vessel is quite granular and looks a lot like fibrin, but it is actually a necrotic wall of the blood vessel. And this is a classical example of what is called fibrinoid because it looks like fibrin necrosis. This disease is polyarteritis. Uh, another name for it is periarteritis because in a way that's a misnomer because it would make you believe that the inflammation is only around the artery. And of course, there is a tremendous amount of inflammation around the artery involving the adventitia. But we can also see that the muscular wall is also necrotic, uh, fibrinoid necrosis. And we all can also can see that even the subintimal area has uh, inflammatory cells. So this is not a periarteritis. It is an arteritis of the entire wall, all three layers with fibrinoid necrosis, another autoimmune disease called polyarteritis. Thank you very much.